Thank you, Madam Mayor. disquiet in the local media recently uh, uh, over the proposed transfer of council land currently leased by for rugby club to South West Essex Education Trust for a much needed secondary school. When, and I am a committee member at the club, yeah. uh, when and with whom at the rugby club did for council consult on this matter? Councillor Hatton, would you like to respond, please? Thank you, Madam Mayor. First of all, it's a pleasure to see former Councillor Healy again. It's always nice to see that after you've retired, that you've decided to come back and spend time with us. And the fact that I'm the cause of that is a, is a, is a great pleasure for me. Um, the, there have been informal conversations um, between the Chief Executive Officer of the Education Trust and with the Chairman of the Rugby Club where they have been working on what the future can look like together. In terms of what the council has done, by it, um, approving the cabinet paper that we took earlier this month, we are now beginning the consultation with the public, which includes the rugby club on the disposal of the land. Those consultation um, responses will then be analysed and a decision is made. And then if a decision is made in that direction, there will be further consultations with the public at large when it comes to the planning process. So there is a formal two-stage consultation um, procedure that can happen now. Um, but what, what I would say is that not only am I very optimistic and hopeful about the future, because we're not talking about fly-by-night at Cabinet Trust, we're talking about really regulars, but long-established groups in our community, outstanding rated by Ofsted, especially Sports College, I believe that they are going to be able to create a terrific future working with Thurrock Rugby Club. I think this is an incredibly positive piece of work and I am optimistic about what we can get out of it going forward, both for the school, for the local students, for the community and for sports people. Thank you, Mr. Lee. You have a supplementary. Yes, I do, Madam Mayor. Um, thank you, Councillor Holder. Uh, I think actually there might be some learnings from this, as Councillor Head would say. Uh, in terms of the committee, I think it was probably as a sitting tenant we we, uh, we discovered uh, from a, a from Thurrock Independent, uh, you know, who have been keeping their beady eyes on the political scene here, that uh, you know we were uh, that this was happening. Um, we had no, and I think you've obviously uh, now said it. There has been no direct contact between the council and the committee. I will remind members, and there is a question, Madam Mayor, sorry. I will remind members that the council, this, we have had leased this land since 19, the mid 1970s. Uh, we have th about 300 youths active in the, in the youth teams at the minute. They're the lifeblood of our organisation. We have many adult teams. And, uh, you know, we are, we, I, think, I think, shock was, as an organisation when this <coughs> happened. There's a lot of very big men at the club who probably are quite angry at the minute. <laughs> but I don't think the men are too, too bad. I think there's some women as well who you've really got to, you know, they're, they're, they're a whole lot better at rugby anyway up there. So. But the question is, well, what we do need now, the question, Madam Mayor, is, you know, it's no point having these informal conversations. This is a business event. You know, the, the South West Education Trust is a business. It's, you know, public benefit. We are a uh, community, uh, a community uh, interest organisation. Uh, we have a wide reach in this community. We want to formally, uh, you know, get a binding agreement, whatever the outcome here. And I hear, I even looked at the for independence of season. Mr. Lee, can you pose your question, please? So, basically, what we want you to do as a council is to join as proper partners with, with your tenant in uh, getting a proper legal binding agreement that will mean that we can have rugby being played on those pitches by our young people for years to come. Can you give us that? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, flash
flashback to the length of questions that are back from the, the period 2010 to 2014. Um, threats of uh, big angry men aside, um, I think what I would um, point out is that you say you want a formal, proper conversation. Well, that's what we've enabled by taking forward the cabinet paper indicating the council wishes to dispose of the land. That has kicked off a formal conversation. And in terms of precisely what community access will look like, well, these are issues that you actually, that the planning committee uh, can actually adjudicate on and actually vote on and actually make binding through the planning process. So actually by taking these steps forward, we're actually enabling those formal conversations that you want to have. I'm, I'm not going to get drawn on to the specifics of what the relationship should look like. The council has got a statutory obligation to provide school places. It's not our role to attempt to run a rugby club. I am relaxed that the dialogue between an outstanding sports college and between the rugby club is something that is going to yield incredibly positive results. And we can't take our eyes off the ball of what it is we're trying to achieve there. So a £20 million worth of investment, creating 1,200 outstanding school places <coughs> Um, to serve the local population and to enhance the sports offer. This is a massive opportunity and we mustn't let it slip through our fingers because Councillor he former Councillor Healy will know that the um, plan for the Harris Riverside Free School in Perthfleet, that was an announced plan when he was still an elected member here and the school is still not built. It took myself and Councillor Cockshaw intervening to ensure that it would be built. So we cannot allow delays, we cannot dither around. Com formal conversations will now happen with the club and the wider community, but we are getting on with this fantastic good news story, and I'm optimistic about what it's going to do for the community of students and the sports people in the area.